Hello, Lana. Welcome once again to Manifested E-Classes. We are going to continue with our topic on physics, where we are solving, uh, getting solutions to questions on our topic, measurement one. So in the previous lesson, I had given an assignment of three questions, which we are going to look at. And at the end of it all, we shall get other questions for another assignment. So we shall go through question by question. Read, go through the question, get the solution. Go through the other question, get the solution. So without much of ado, we go to question one. Question one, it is measurement. Eh? Question one, in a school milk program, in a school milk program, 24 liters of milk is distributed to students in packets of 500 cubic centimeters. So how many students missed milk in a class of 50 students? So straight, we shall go to the solutions. Solution. So, before we talk of the solutions for question one, there is something we should ask ourselves. The milk is distributed in packets. So, one, you should be able to get the number of packets. So, you'll say number of packets. Eh? the number of packets will be equal to quantity of milk. Quantity. Divided by the capacity of each packet. Capacity. Quantity, or you can say quantity of each packet. quantity of each packet. Just like in the first lesson, we found there was changing of units from one to another. So at this particular time, you, the learner, should be able to know how many cubic centimeters will make a liter and so on and so forth. So the quantity of milk in the question, are we given the quantity of milk? Yes, it is 24 liters. 24 liters. 24 liters. The quantity of each packet you are given as, quantity of each packet is 500 cubic centimeters. 500 cubic centimeters. Centimeter. So when you reach here, you cannot divide unless you have one common unit. And something springs up which is very important, whereby you should be able to know one liter is equal to a thousand cubic centimeters. One liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. So before I divide, I should be able to convert these two liter so if we have that huh? 500 cubic centimeters will be equivalent to 500 over a thousand 500 over a thousand liters 5000 over a thousand liters this will work to 0.5 liters. So you realize 500 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 0 0.5 liters. So this should is very important. It should stick. Uh, the learner should be able, should have come through this uh, either in 
other previous uh, lessons, either in mathematics, somewhere, so you should have learned this. So we go back to here, number of packets. As already seen, from here, the number of packets will be 24 liters divided by 0 0.5 liters. If you work out that well, you'll be able to get 48 packets. Then you go back to the question, how many students miss milk? We have a class of 50. And here I have 48 packets. So it will go without saying that the number of students who missed milk, eh? The number of students who missed milk, eh, Lana, will be equal to the total number. It's given as what? It will be 50 subtract number of, of packets available. So this will work to 50 subtract 48. Eh? That will give us two packets. That will give us two packets. Very important. Eh? The measures. How many cubic centimeters make a liter was very important to the solution of that question. We go to question number two, where formula will come in question number two. So I have to go through the question. A sphere. A sphere. Eh? Something round. A ball is a sphere. A ball is a sphere. So you should have those pictures. A sphere. Hmm? A sphere. It's round. Huh? And you have a cylinder. This is a sphere. Maybe to draw it in three dimension. It will maybe have a center somewhere there. A sphere, a cylinder. So, a sphere of diameter 42 millimeters is remolded into a uniform cylindrical wire, uh, cylindrical wire of diameter 42 millimeters. Calculate the length of the wire in meters. So, the formula comes in very important. Volume of a sphere that you should be able to know without the form uh, the formula for the volume you will not it is 4 over 3 pi r cubed where r is the radius of the sphere while for a cylinder for a cylinder the volume is given by the base area pi r squared multiplied by the height the height of that. So the wire is in form of a cylindrical shape. The wire is in form of a cylindrical shape. So if this is melted, it will go that the volume of the initial sphere will be equal to the volume of the cylinder. So volume of the sphere, of sphere, will be equal to the volume of cylinder because it is remolded so we have the uh, um, the matter will not change the quantity and volume will be the same so we'll come and say 4 over 3 pi r cubed where this is the radius of the sphere take care so this will be the radius of the sphere will give you pi r squared height. So in the question they are asking you for the length of the wire. This will be same as the length or it is the same as the height. It is the same as the height. So you just substitute. The diameter of the sphere is 42. 
So its radius will be 20, 21. So we'll say 4 over 3, pi is 22 over 7, radius is 21, 21 millimeters, 21 millimeters times 21 millimeters times 21 millimeters will be equal to 22 over 7. The radius, uh, you go back here, of diameter 42, which means the radius is still 21. 21 millimeters times 21 millimeters times the height you are looking for. So you'll find some of the quantities here will cancel. So this 22 over 7 cancels with that. That 21, 21, 21, 21. You find that, isn't it? So you'll come and find 4 over 3, 4 over 3 times 21 millimeters, 4 over 3 times 21 millimeters will give you what? 4 over 3 times 21 millimeters will give you the height you are looking for. 3 goes there, 1, 3 goes there, 7. So the height is 28 millimeters. So they, are, they want you to get that in meters. So conversion, very important, very important. How many millimeters make a meter? So one meter is a thousand millimeters. So it will go without say that the height in meters will be 28 millimeters over a thousand millimeters. 28 millimeters over a thousand millimeters. So this will give you 0 0.028 meters. That will be the solution to that. If you look there very well, conversion measures, huh? measures. That was a question on volume. We had just approached the first one on capacity. So let's go to the third, which gives maybe stating noting some differences between so question three state three differences between mass and weight mass and weight question three mass Weight. So for many, we know mass is measured in kilograms. Kilograms, weight is measured in newtons. For the second difference, it's very important. It's very important because when I jump up, eh, I always come back to the earth because of something known as gravity. But when you go to other places, like on the moon, that gravity changes. So it will mean the weight, my weight on the moon will change. So here we say mass is con constant. Huh? Mass is constant. But weight changes. So I go to another planet there, that will be uh, different. Another difference here is, uh, you'll find for mass, it only has magnitude, but for weight, it will have magnitude and direction. So when it only has magnitude, we call it a scalar quantity. A scalar quantity. It is a scalar quantity. Weight will have weight 
has magnitude and direction and direction so we call it a vector quantity those are some of the three major differences between mass and weight not that uh, it changes eh? if you go to the moon your weight will be different compared to your weight on earth so with those solutions you'll also get another assignment for the next lesson Quickly through the questions, which will work as the assignment. We have one. In an, ex an experiment session, the Buret reading is 18.1 cubic centimeters. After the teacher's demonstration, each student was supposed to release 10 drops to the Buret, each of 0 0.3 cubic centimeters. What is the reading of the birette after the third student? Question two. The table below shows densities of common substances in the laboratory. There is aluminium, 2,700 kilograms per meter cubed. Gold, 19,300. Copper, 8,930. A substance of mass 7.144 kilograms was found to have a volume of 800 cubic centimeters. Use the information to determine the substance. Question 3. The following data was recorded in an experiment to determine the density of a liquid. Mass of the empty bottle 30 grams, mass of the empty bottle filled with water, 55, mass of the bottle filled with liquid X, 370 grams. Use that information to calculate A, density of water, and B, density of liquid X. So, thank you for the audience, uh, and let's meet in the next lessons with you have as we work the solutions for those questions have a nice time and enjoy the working the assignment thank you very much and bye <laughs>